Hi. And today I'm going to show you how I shave uh, a senior dog with a lot of knots. I haven't seen this dog for like seven months and the owners they cut away at the hair with um, scissors. It's got really bad skin, really bad dandruff. So hopefully you'll go to the vet. Anyway this is all compacted here. This is all matted and compacted. So let's just give it a try. Hopefully she'll be okay or he'll be okay. Okay, I'm just using a 7F, 7F blade, and I'm just going to start at the top. It's the, actually, the back part isn't matted, because that's what's been cut away. So if the mats are really tight, and the blade doesn't go um, under the mat, you have to use a closer blade. Now this is coming off so far. Oops. So it comes off. I don't like to go too close because there's a lot of uh, growth, a lot of warty little growth on the body. Oh, okay, I know, I know. So just do a little bit at a time. And just going right underneath the knot. There we go. That's a little bit off. So since this dog is a senior, I like to clip off what I can first before the bath because senior dogs don't really good, do good with the drying. So I'm not going to wet shave or anything like that. So there, actually didn't, that wasn't too bad. Let's try the front area now. Okay. So the mats start right here. They're actually coming off pretty easy. The seniors, senior dogs have like thinner skin, so you really have to be careful like, not to cut their skin. If you feel like that you've hit something, like it won't go through, just be careful. It could be a growth. You don't want to keep. Uh, Jamming the clipper through. Oh, there we go. Your skin can breathe now. There, I got off that chunk. There we go. You're gonna feel better for summer. Mm-hmm. There. How's it look? <laughs> New style. Okay, now on to the neck part here. I'm actually going to take this off. Don't go anywhere. There. So you want to lift the ear forward and then you can shave off all those knots. She's short strokes. There we go. And a little bit on the ear here. Actually, I might have to take the whole ear short. Under your ear. There, we got off all the mats on one side. Okay, let's go on the other side. Dogs that are matted, they always have the mats on the, on the opposite side, the same place as on the other side. I just call them matching knots. They're always in the same place on both sides. Actually, this side wasn't too bad, but there's a lot of mats under the armpit. So we're gonna give you a makeover. You're gonna look like a naked puppy. Yes, you will. You feel better, anyways. Mhm. Mm okay, let's work on that section there. Oh. 
Now what I'm doing is I'm using a really light touch. I'm not really digging into the skin. Going by feel mostly. Now see there's a warty. I might have just nicked that one. But it's okay. I mean, if you nick one, you nick one. There's not much you can do. It's going to stop bleeding anyway. And it's not an emergency situation. They bleed all the time because the dog, you know, chews them, scratches at them. So, especially when the dog's all mad at like this, you can't really see what you're doing. So, just taking a chance, you know? There we go. Okay, let's do run your bum. Nope. I'm actually going to use a shorter blade for that. It's really knotted. Come here, baby. There we go. So I'm using a 10. Sometimes when they're still matted, you got to go to 15, 30, 40, just to get off the knots. Sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. There, you're gonna feel better, huh? That was major. Look at this under here. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna do the armpit there with the number 10. It's because it's really tight. Oh, sometimes the legs are hard to lift up on these old ones, old doggies. I know, I know. Let me see. Sometimes you just got to go in from the middle here and take up what you can. Mm -hmm. Sorry, let me see. It's okay. Okay. I gotta get in there. Just lift on the leg very gently. You've got some right here on your front leg. There we go, baby. Okay, let's do the other leg. It's okay. Big one there. Your the groin is all matted too. I'm just going to lift up the legs gently and use a 10. Get all that off. all the major mats off. Except for the tail. Okay, this tail is like one big clump. So, I'm just going to cut some, like split the hair. I'm probably going to just take it all off. What I'm going to do is cut most of it off. I want to leave a little bit because when a dog's tail is shaved, it's okay, baby. You know, they act different. No, no, no. Hang on one sec. It's okay. You don't like your tail being touched. So I like to try to save some. 
So if you cut like half of it off, half the length, and then try to brush it, it usually works. We'll see. I don't want to hurt the poor little guy. Because you got bad skin already. So just make little cuts in the mat. And sometimes they'll come out after the bath. Once the hair is clean. We'll see. We will see, huh? This one I'm going to cut right there. So let me give it a try. I stretched the hair a little bit so the mats are on the end so what I'm going to do is just cut it even shorter and that way it'll brush out yeah I think I'll be able to leave a little little bit like this check out the skin it's got scales all over it yucks Okay, so what I do now is I'm just going to give it a quick, uh, you know, clip, uh, clipping all over. Just set the major hair here. And then I'll give him a bath. So I want to spend less time um, drying, drying the dog. Because at the age of 16, you know, it's really, they can't stand, you know, they can't really take the dryer very much. Unless they're cage dried, but I don't really cage dry unless I have to. I do one dog at a time, so I don't really have time to put them in a cage. Mm -hmm. well, I have to use the um, sand dryer, not the velocity, because the velocity will make the dog upset. So I will just be doing that. Let's just warm this up there, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, the bathing and the drying is done. And this is what he looks like afterwards. There's a lot of knots in the ears, so I'm going to be cutting that down. And the pads are really, really matted. So I'm going to have to get in there with a, uh, probably put it on a 40 or a 30. It's just a, a big clump in every pad. Come here, baby. I'll show you closer. There, you see that? Looks like a pebble in every foot. So I usually get a number 40 because it has to get right underneath that. And sometimes the dog doesn't allow you to do this. You've got to kind of chisel it away with scissors. But there we go. That's going to feel better. I'm going to be able to walk. Mm -hmm. It's in every foot. Every foot. Let's do the other back one. Come here, baby. Let's see. Well, there's a lot of bleeding areas because of the, um, the warts. In the water and you know the scabs come off so I'm just getting right underneath that big knot sorry the tails in the way and scooping it out so look this is what it look like in each foot so don't let your dog get like that if if you're a dog owner uh, if you're a groomer obviously you see this all the time but if you're just watching for your own dog don't let your dog's feet get like that it's like walking on a pebble that's not, that must be horrible okay so I'm just gonna be clipping them all over with the uh, the seven up just to smooth out you know all those hairs all the ones that were missed and got blow dry nice and straight
all coming off. Even under your tail here. You're gonna feel good. I'm just getting behind your legs there. Baby, get your front legs. I know you can't really lift these. Mm -hmm. A little bit stiff for you. You got lots of little bumps there. There you go. Don't want to cut them. Always when you get a dog matted and hasn't been grown or groomed in many many months, like overdue, make sure you charge. Charge extra. I mean, they shouldn't be the same price as your regular good, good clients, you know. I mean, when I get my own hair done, I haven't had my hair done for a long time. It's long and you know not cut, and the colors are wrong. They charge me a fortune. It's starting to look good. Look at your skin. Like it's got like seborrhea. You go to the vet, I hope. Oh, where are you going? You gonna walk into the camera? Okay, so I'm just gonna round off the feet. Now I already cut the nails. Actually, surprisingly, they weren't that long. I thought they would be. So when I shave a dog, especially with the 7F, I try to get, you know, as much hair off the feet as I can and then just scissor around like that. Not much hair left. Now this one has a lot of <laughs> gross all over. Look. Yes. I don't want to cut them. Come here. Okay. Just tidying up the ends here. Doesn't have to be perfect on a senior dog. There's your body. Okay, we're gonna work on your head now. Here. You're yawning for everybody? Okay, the ears are really matted all the way around. So they're pretty long. Here's the ear flap. It's got all this fur. So I'm just gonna cut right around. I'm just gonna cut it right off. And on a white dog, usually if you pull um, if you pull the knots along the ear line, like along the edge, it can bleed. So I'm not going to do that. He's got very greasy ears because of the medication that he's on, some ear medication. So I like to try to just cut through as many knots as I can, and then you know brush it gently. I'm gonna have very short ears, which should be better for you, anyways. Mm hmm. Do the same for this one. Sorry, he's moving out of the camera. It's all matted here. So make sure you can feel where the end of the ear is. And get that hair from inside the ear. So I'm just going to trim it. I'm not going to pluck it because it hurts you, I know. We'll see if we can brush anything. You're going to have no ears. That's good. So I won't see you for seven months anyway. Yeah. Okay, this ear might be longer than the other ear, so... What I'm going to do is brush it out first and then finish it up. You know, go around the edges and it up. That's much better than ripping it all out, huh? Yeah, that's much better. Okay, what about your eyes? You can't see very good. There. I'm just going to trim across the bangs here. There. 
Now some senior dogs hate their mouth being touched because they always have rotten teeth. So I'm just going to cut as much as I can from here. What's that I feel? You got a warty there. Take all the hair from the lips that are going in the mouth. Okay, let's see if I can comb. It's okay. It's just really hard to comb because, you know, you can be hitting those warty things and then they bleed. You're pretty good about your uh, your face here. Pretty darn tootin' good, although it looks like a mess right now. Okay, I'm gonna just use a number one on the top knot. Since the dog is short, like all over, no use leaving a big massive head. Probably even go a little shorter than this. Oh, maybe it'll cover up your little warties there. Yeah. There we go. Oh, watch you. Close your mouth. I can't really get much up of that. All right, so that's the basics that are done, and now basically just finishing up with the uh, scissors or the thinning shears because it's very uneven obviously you got a waxy piece there here we go what a good dog you are yeah Here, come here, we're going to fix you up. Come here. Okay, we're just going to do the little stick-ups. Get something in her eye. Now this dog has dry eye as well. So a lot of stuff around the eyes. A little big wart there. What a good dog for 16. Mm -hmm. There. Now if the dog starts freaking out or whatever, I'm just going to end the session. If they're really good, like this, this one at this age, and continue to trim them. Now some dogs, when they're old, they can only take so much, right? Before they start freaking out a little bit. Yeah, maybe you don't like this part. Can I do your little shin? So I like to just finish with the thinners just to soften the edges there. There we go. Almost done. Come here. Get this brown stuff off. There, you look so much better than you did when you came here. Yeah, when you came in. Mm -hmm. Look at those long things. I'll take those long things off. Always try to see if there's hairs in the mouth. Like these ones. Because they can wrap around the teeth. And uh, infect the tooth. Or make it really stinky anyway. Okay. 
you've probably had enough, right? There we go, sweetie. So not bad for a 16-year-old dog with bad skin and mats and owner trimmed. How do you look? There's some hairs back there I gotta get. Oh, don't go out of the camera, sweetheart. Let me see. It's all back here. Alrighty. So there you go. I hope you like my videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. You can comment if you like. If you got any questions, so you can you can ask, and I'll try to answer the best I can. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon. That way, you'll know when I upload a video. They'll notify you. Look at this big bump here. So, um, thanks for watching. So I'm just gonna tidy him up a little bit. Look at that poor skin. So this is what he looks like. I'll show you the before and after picture, and you can compare. So I just want to show you how. I grew him a, a senior matted dog. Actually, he was uh, really, really good for the blow drying, by the way. All right, thanks for watching. Here we go.